General Motors, the country's largest automaker, plans to have 40% of its vehicles electric by the end of 2025. BM is drawing plans to open a magnet supply chain facility. We still have pent up demand, and we're seeing very strong demand for our vehicle. CEO Mary Barra just dropped a shocking warning that has left the entire vehicle industry puzzled after she just ditched the production of 400,000 electric vehicles that were planned to be produced in 2024. Her focus on higher-priced electric vehicles, combined with what some view as a flawed internal combustion engine strategy, has shocked middle-class consumers. Hold on to your seats, because GM just made a complete U-turn by proving that the EV race is far from over by entering a dynamic partnership with Niron Magnetics. Niron Magnetics is developing the Clean Earth Magnet, a permanent magnet alternative that does not use any rare earth elements. Clean Earth Magnet can enable next generation motor designs that are more compact. GM Ventures and Stellantis Ventures have jumped on board with a wave of investors, raising an impressive $33 million in additional funding for Niron Magnetics. This innovative company is busy developing special clean earth magnets made from iron nitride, promising to transform the EV world by ditching the need for rare materials found in today's electric vehicles. The huge question arises, is this going to be the biggest game changer? What is going to happen with the 400,000 abandoned electric vehicles? Stay tuned as we reveal all the answers. In the quest for a cleaner future in transportation, electric vehicles are the stars of the show. Yet, the impact of these eco-friendly vehicles goes beyond just reducing tailpipe emissions. But here's the hitch. The revolution goes deeper, into the realm of the minerals that power EV batteries and motors. Many of these essential minerals are extracted and processed in ways that are anything but eco-friendly, often hailing from countries where relations with the United States are on shaky ground. But General Motors isn't one to shy away from a challenge. No, they're rolling up their sleeves and diving headfirst into the fray. They've struck up a strategic alliance with an up-and-coming U.S. startup on a mission to rewrite the rules of magnet production for electric motors. The objective? Crafting magnets that are not just strong, but also sustainable. The ripple effect of this endeavor could reshape the entire electric vehicle industry, painting a cleaner and more secure future for transportation. Buckle up, because the electric evolution just got a turbo boost. GM made a groundbreaking announcement about their collaboration with Niron Magnetics, a Minneapolis-based company. Together, they aim to pioneer what Niron claims to be the world's first and only automotive-grade permanent magnet completely devoid of critical materials, taking the electric vehicle industry to new heights. Niron Magnetics is a tech company that emerged from a University of Minnesota initiative. Their mission? To get rid of the harmful rare earth mining that's causing environmental havoc. And they plan to do all this by replacing those precious materials with cleaner alternatives. Niron Magnetics boasts a robust intellectual property portfolio, comprising of 30 granted patents and an additional 20 pending ones. But it's their shining star, especially in the realm of electric vehicles or EVs, that's turning heads. Niron's exclusive Clean Earth Magnet technology. This innovation harnesses iron nitride to craft magnets that maintain impressive magnetization while entirely eliminating rare earth materials. In a remarkable feat, this technology was recently honored as one of Time's best inventions of 2023, marking a noteworthy achievement after a decade of development. With operational pilot facilities already established in Minnesota, Niron is poised to start a revolution in the design of future EV motors, drivetrains, and related technologies by offering a rare earth-free alternative. In a recent conversation featuring GM and Niron, an intriguing snippet emerged. It appears that GM secured something special from Niron following an undisclosed investment. The exact sum GM invested is shrouded in secrecy, leaving us in the dark about the details. This secrecy adds an air of mystery to the situation, as it remains uncertain whether Niron will prioritize providing their cutting-edge rare earth-free EV magnets to GM or their other partner. Nevertheless, both automakers are undoubtedly high on Niron's priority list. Adding another layer of complexity to this electrifying tale is the Volvo Cars Tech Fund, which had previously invested in Niron Magnetics. This fund brings three major automotive original equipment manufacturers, or OEMs, into Niron's extensive network. As the competition heats up in the quest for superior sustainable magnets for electric vehicles, it's clear that we're in for an exciting and closely watched race.
And don't forget, the GM just ditched 400,000 electric vehicles to protect their profits, but more on that later. In another turn of events, Jonathan Roundtree, the CEO of Nyron Magnetics, spilled the beans on their expansion plans. Right now, they've got a team of 60 hardworking people, but they're aiming to double that crew by this time next year. They're keeping the exact dollar amount GM is investing under wraps, but rest assured, it's a joint venture where both parties are rolling up their sleeves. Roundtree, in his behind-the-scenes role, offered an interesting snippet. Ever heard of permanent magnets? They're like the unsung heroes in your vehicle, hidden away in parts like speakers, motors, pumps, and compressors. But where they're set to make a real difference for GM is in the inner workings of their upcoming electric cars. It's the dawn of a new era in the world of electric mobility, and Nyron is right at the heart of it. However, Roundtree dropped a bombshell, revealing that a whopping 90% of permanent magnet action is currently happening in China. That's a major headache for automakers eager to rev up their EV production without being too chummy with a country that isn't exactly on the best terms with the US. To make matters even spicier, there's some strict rules lurking in the Inflation Reduction Act, threatening to put the brakes on automakers' tax credits if they rely on China for batteries, battery bits, and minerals. Brace yourself, because things could get intense in the coming months. Roundtree didn't stop there. He's waving the flag for Nyron Magnetics, proudly stating that their game plan allows for manufacturing in the US and around the world. How? By using plenty of eco-friendly and easy-to-get raw materials with no need to dig up new rare earth mines. It's like a breath of fresh air in the electric vehicle world. GM's electric vehicle dreams have hit a rocky road in recent times. Just when they thought they were revving up to build a whopping 400,000 EVs in North America by mid-2024, they had to slam on the brakes. The bombshell dropped during GM's Q3 2023 earnings call, where they revealed that they're ditching this ambitious goal. GM CEO Mary Barra had reaffirmed about hitting that target back in July, but that was before the thunderclouds rolled in. UAW strikes began chewing up their cash reserves, and the automaker estimated that these strikes have already sapped them of a whopping $800 million. The EV journey isn't all smooth sailing for GM, that's for sure. Now, here's the kicker. GM isn't done with electric vehicles. This revelation might not be the flashiest headline they've ever dropped, but it's a clear signal that they're in this EV game for the long haul. It seems like they're timing this announcement just right to shake off some recent bad press about their electric vehicle growth.